this is our Christmas tree and we're gonna decorate it because it's December 1st. This is our tree skirt. This is our ornament collection. We have these little cocktails that are super cute. This one as well, a little martini. And then we have the pen ornament. And then a Columbia ornament. And then we also have a little, it's not focusing, a little Barbie one, a dancer one. And this is COVID Santa. This is amazing. And I also really like this one. It's the Hong Kong taxi ornament. Love it. So my mom loves collecting ornaments and this is another like Barbie style doll fashion one. We have like Christmas candy, just a bunch of these type of, these are kind of normal looking, I guess. My mom's just been collecting these for over a couple of years. Like I remember that having this for so long. So basically we don't really have a theme. We're just gonna go with like random ones. So yeah, let's get decorating. This low-key gives me trypophobia vibes, so we're gonna take it out. We have these clip-on birds. I got these quality street. It's like a Christmas tradition to eat these. My favorite one is the orange chocolate crunch, but I finished it. So I think I'm gonna go for green triangle. I really like green triangle. It's just milk chocolate, honestly. So let's go find it. Oh, there we go. I also quite like the pink ones, I think. So I'm just gonna take a few of my favorites out. I'm now just testing myself for covid because my mom got covid last saturday i stayed at a hotel for a week and i got out and i'm just gonna make sure that i'm still negative i've been testing myself every single day but i just want to make sure and i just found these sanrio dolls apparently my mom's had this for a long time but she didn't know i really like sanrio so i just got these and i'm gonna put it on my bed i actually had to throw away all my dolls when i was really young because i suddenly got told that asthma never was allowed to have these plush dolls so it's like how the dreams that never came true i am waiting for my test results i am currently gonna edit my disneyland vlog and i kind of want to do a skincare routine because my skin's been pretty bad since i was in a hotel and i wasn't at my home and i didn't have access to like my usual skincare i feel like my skin's been not great Let's see i hope i'm negative yes i'm negative so i'm good so i think i told you guys that i wanted to do a skincare routine so i'm gonna start off removing my makeup because i have a full face of makeup on not really full but like i have some makeup on and i'm gonna be using my guerlain abbe royale cleansing oil this is great it's a very very thin oil and i'm just gonna do like my five pumps i like to do a lot of pumps because i don't want to rub my skin too much <laughs> lather the oil and then next i'm going to be using a foam cleanser and i'm going to be using my biosong squalene and amino aloe gentle cleanser this is really good i just started using it but it's great so i'm done erasing my makeup so i couldn't decide what i wanted to use today but i think i'm just going to go with this one this is the pharmacy honey potion hydration mask because it's kind of cold today so let's open it up i've never used it before oh guys it comes with a little spatula it's like honey it it the texture is honey it's very like thick and gloopy um 
<laughs> Don't just do that. Is it too much? It literally feels like honey. Like it feels thick. See it turning white. Do you guys see it? You also like I'm applying like Vaseline on my skin. So this is my elevated skincare. It's when I do like a mask on top of my normal skincare. This background's kind of bad, but I thought since I'm filming, I thought maybe I could add something more interesting to my videos because it's been a while since I've vlogged and I feel like you guys are very, very bored of my videos or my channel. So I thought I would do a quick haul of everything I bought recently at like staff sales. First of all, look at this bag. I don't think I've showed this anywhere. So this is from obviously from Fendi. It's a croissant bag. Guess how much this was? This was like 3,000 Hong Kong dollars. So you can wear it like flat like this, like this. Or what you can do is and make it into a little croissant, like a little moon. It's such a great casual bag. And this bag I bought ages ago, but I'll still show it to you guys. This is the Marc Jacobs Heaven collection bag. They actually don't sell Heaven in Hong Kong. I already have a bag from Heaven that I got at a staff sale when I first started. Oh, okay. I'll talk about this. I got it at Lo Webe sale. This was $4,700 Hong Kong dollars. I needed a new leather biker jacket because my old one broke. I really like the fit of it. It's quite cropped in the torso area, but it's quite large on the arms. It's easier to layer. The next thing that I got at Lo Webe is this tote bag. It's a pink pillow. No, it's a pink cushion tote. And this was, it was 3,000 Hong Kong dollars for this. This is what it looks like. So honestly, working in luxury fashion makes it harder for you to shop luxury like at full price because you know how they do crazy staff sales. Just the way that luxury is presented at those staff sales, it's just, it's like a marketplace. This is just like an industry secret that shouldn't be exposed so anyway i'm gonna show you guys what i got at the celine sale because that's the brand i work for <laughs> got the sweater it's kind of v-neck the next thing that i got at celine is this leather jacket it's like a baseball jacket style and then it has the celine mayon triumph motif not way to style it for the fall okay and this is the bag that I got. It's just this tote bag and it has Celine Trium on it. It's really, really big. It kind of reminds me of the Dior tote. Look at that. Sorry, my room is super messy. So the mask is still on my face. I'm gonna wash it off soon and then I can continue on with the rest of my skincare routine. But guys, look, I'm breaking out over here and I'm stressed out about it. I'm back, let's wash off this mask. So I washed off all my mask. My face feels a lot softer. Let's go on to toner. It's the Anua Heart Leaf Soothing Toner. <laughs> Use my hands. And do this. And then I'm gonna be using Drunk Elephant the Hydra Hydration Serum. Got it at the Sephora sale. Honestly, my entire skincare is from the Sephora sale. Okay, so for moisturizer, I'm gonna be using this Editorial Pure Atello Collagen Cream. This is a great moisturizer. I love the Editorial Pure's vitamin C. I use two bottles of their vitamin C. Finished it. This is my second time using this moisturizer. Okay, so now I'm gonna just brush my teeth, which is really boring. So I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so I just brushed my teeth. I'm not gonna go to bed right now, not just yet. I'm just gonna moisturize my lips. And I've been using Vaseline because everyone on TikTok has been talking about it. So I am an easily influenced girl. If you don't know what to get me for my birthday or Christmas or whatever and you want to gift me something, just go on TikTok and see whatever is trending on there and I will be very easily pleased. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to continue editing my Disneyland video because I still have not started. Remember how I told you like an hour ago? I just started watching Dynasty and then got distracted. So I'm going to sit at my desk for once and edit. <laughs> Hey guys, 
So I came home today from my busy schedule. I'm in my cozy PJs. These are from Uniqlo and they are amazing. They're so comfy. But today I just want to do a quick haul for you guys because I didn't really vlog my day. Literally just filming hauls to get by. I was shopping at Calzedonia. First of all, I got these sheer look thermal tights. Literally what I've been looking for. I know they've been viral on TikTok. Not necessarily these ones, but just the concept. So this is like a sheer looking tight. It comes with a sheer tight, but underneath there is a nude color tight. And then there's a shearling in it. So it's like really warm and fuzzy. But when you wear it, it looks like you're just wearing sheer tights. Then I got a pair of socks. These are kind of long, but I thought these would be really cute with loafers. Anyway, I think that's all that I bought today. They didn't really get to film because today was a really busy day for me, but it was kind of boring and things I could not really film. I went to work out um, in the morning and then I went to French class for two hours and then I went shopping. So that's why it's like, I guess filming a haul is bringing you parts of my day. I'm trying to finish editing my Disneyland vlog, which I still haven't finished. I know I mentioned this to you guys a couple of days ago, but I still haven't finished. I'm like really bad at editing like the translations or the little captions underneath my videos, which is why I should stop talking right now so I don't have to edit more. I will see you guys later.